Today I would like to give an example of creating a function of one input and one output. For this example, we'll be doing the Taylor series expansion of the sine function, but it really doesn't matter what we are doing this function of. Let's take a look on Wikipedia and see what a Taylor series expansion for the sine wave is. And we can see the pattern there. If we're trying to find sine of x, it's approximately equal to x minus x cubed divided by, by 3 factorial plus x to the fifth divided by 5 factorial, so on and so on and so on. So I'm going to do this in MATLAB. This is not a particularly efficient way of doing this and you don't need to do it because you have the built-in sine function in MATLAB. This is done for academic purposes only. In future videos I will make this function more and more efficient and use more features of MATLAB. We can see this is a function by the keyword function that means we're going to expand the MATLAB language by making a new function called Taylor sine. It's going to take an input of x and an output of a prox, and it's of course stored in a function named taylorsign.m. We're just going to set this to have the number of terms in the Taylor series expansion to be four, and then I've got a temporary variable that we're going to need to do this internally called odd and we're going to start our approximation at zero. Now we're going to loop from the number of terms that is one through the number of terms and then we need that value n that's going to be used in the factorial and when we're raising the value to a power and that was simply term times 2 minus 1. So the correction that we're going to add or subtract is going to be x raised to the n divided by a factorial of n. Notice we are using a function inside of MATLAB called factorial within this function file that we are defining. You could also use other functions that you define in MATLAB here also because all of these just add to the MATLAB language. Now we're going to do some flow control. If odd, then we're going to add the correction to a prox. Otherwise, that is basically if it's even, we are going to subtract the correction and then we're going to toggle that flag odd from 1 to 0, 1 to 0 by saying not odd. And then we end the for loop. Let's go to the command window. If we say sine of 0 0.5, there we go. And if we say the Taylor sine, and it looks good. So that is a simple example of a function of one input and one output in MATLAB. Thank you.